there might be some really good reasons why you should just keep your day job. And here's six of them right now. The very first one, of course, is the income. If you've got a great job that pays really well, it's going to be hard to replace that income. And you might decide that you're better off just keeping your day job and thinking of music as your part-time hobby or a secondary income. And there's a whole lot of benefits in, in doing it that way. Um, of course, the, right off the bat, there's the stability of your income. You don't have to worry about when your next gig is and if you're going to be able to pay rent or, uh, or your car payment or any of that. I mean, all that's taken care of, so you don't have to worry about the money. And that leads right into the next reason. If you don't have to worry about the money, then you really can be very choosy about which gigs you're going to play. Just take the very best gigs, take the fun gigs, uh, or just hold out, you know, if you do want to make the most amount of money playing your music still, then hold out for the good paying gigs and don't take the lower paying gigs because you don't really need that money. Or like I said, just play the gigs that are really fun. And if the money doesn't really matter to you very much, and if you're just doing it because of the, because it's a lot of fun or because you enjoy uh, playing the music itself, or you like the camaraderie of being with your bandmates and hanging out, having a good time, then, you know, that's a great reason to just keep music more or less like a hobby, because that's one of the things that happens when you turn your hobby into a job, it's, it loses some of the fun, doesn't it? And if you just keep your day job and let that be the work that you do in your life, then playing the music can be the fun in your life. And that's a great reason to do that. Not only that, if you're not playing gigs all the time because you have to make money, then when you do go play, each gig is more fun. Uh, you know, keeping it more like an occasional gig, it makes it more fun. You don't get burned out. Um, and it's just more exciting. Uh, you're, you're really looking forward to go play that gig. And uh, when you're there, you're having a blast and it's just, you're creating some great memories for yourself. That's a, that's a great way to do it as well. It's, uh, it it uh, keeps it exciting, keeps it fun, and it makes it one of the highlights of your life. And on the flip side of that, if you're gigging too often, not only can you get burned out on it, but it can also be physically demanding on you if you're playing a lot. And that's especially true for lead singers. If you're having to play these long bar gigs night after night after night, it can really wear out your voice to the point where you literally lose your voice and you can't sing or you can't hit some of the high notes and you end up having to you know, lean on some of the other band members to help you make it through the night to, you know, hey, can you sing this song? And that's a, that can be a real challenge. It can be a real problem for lead singers, especially, but really for anybody in the band, uh, you know, it could really make you tired. It could really wear you out and drain your energy um, if you're gigging too often. And it, and it can really take a lot of the fun out of it when it becomes too much like work. And if it becomes too much like grunt work, then it's, you're not looking forward to it. Uh, and it becomes almost drudgery and it's really going to uh, impact your attitude on stage and the way you behave and, and it's it can really drive things down um, and uh, it may not work out very well if you are driving yourself that hard trying to play too many gigs so that's a good reason to have that day job like i said the day job can be where you do your work and the gigging can be where you have your fun uh, so that's a good balance there one of the other advantages of keeping a day job especially if you have a, a good paying day job is that you might be able to afford uh, the music equipment that you've always wanted. Whereas, you know, if you're a musician uh, kind of struggling and not uh, never having a lot of money uh, and just kind of getting by as a working musician, um, maybe you just kind of have the cheapest equipment that you can get away with. But if you have a great paying day job and you're playing these music gigs, uh, you, you can kind of structure your life in a way where, well, whatever gig money I get, I can put that and I can buy myself a really nice guitar, really nice rig, all the best equipment, which makes it even more fun when you have really nice equipment to work on. And that's not always possible if you're depending on that gig income for, you know, to pay your rent. And uh, one other reason why it could be a really great idea to keep your day job, uh, because you're not under pressure to play gigs all the time, just to make, you know, just to make ends meet, um, you can really take your time rehearsing. You can spend a lot more time with your band in the rehearsal room, just getting everything really good. You're, you're not in any hurry. Oh, I got to get ready before, by this next gig. We got to learn these new songs by that wedding or something like that. If you're not under that kind of pressure, then you really can enjoy the time, the, the process of getting together with your friends in the practice room and hang, you know, hanging out a little bit, take, take the, you know, take your time doing it, 
work up the music, get really good at it, and play out whenever you feel like it and whenever you're really ready for it. Uh, obviously, in addition to learning songs with your band, you could also be writing songs. So, you know, you could be in your home studio like this, uh, writing and recording your music. And, you know, especially if that's where your passion is, you know, as a creative artist, instead of if you're not necessarily worried about making money from the gigs, uh, and maybe you want to be more creative, well, having a day job makes that possible. It pays all the bills. Meanwhile, you can spend all your free time writing music, being creative, and if you're gonna play those songs live, then you take those songs that you've written and you go work it out with your band, and then you, uh, and then you go do your shows whenever you're ready at your own pace, without the pressure of having to worry about you know, getting the right gig that pays the right amount of money. In fact, it might be nicer to choose the gigs that are more appropriate for that kind of an act. And said, maybe you go do an original music festival that maybe doesn't pay very well, maybe it doesn't pay at all, but maybe it's a good place to play. Maybe there's a good crowd there. Uh, maybe it's a fun gig to play because it's, maybe they've got a nice big stage, big PA. It's a great, it makes you look good, right? It, and it, that's a good showcase for your songs and your original music. Uh, or playing at certain other smaller venues that are just uh, a better setting for you to play your original music and you're not worried about making a lot of money, you just want to do it because you enjoy doing it. Uh, or another twist on that might be maybe you're not worried about making money playing live, maybe you're doing stuff more online like this video that you're watching right now, maybe you're going to make YouTube videos, so you only play the gigs that are the best gigs so that you can then make sure that you've got a camera crew there to capture your performance, and then you put all that on YouTube or whatever other video format you're gonna do. So there's, there's some ideas for you. So having, having a day job can really kind of finance all of that stuff, can it? It can be sort of the underpinning, the foundation for all that stuff, and then with all your free time, you can do all that stuff at your own leisure, and you can do it however you want without being concerned about having to make enough money to to get by and have to pay all the bills. So those are my six reasons why you might wanna consider keeping your day job if you've got a good day job. Uh, drop your comments below, and of course hit the like button and the subscribe and the little bell, all the things you usually do on YouTube videos. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.